thank you everyone for making time for us today. I'm Joe Manis, Executive Vice President of Client Support at MindFire, or Customer Success as we call it. Joining me today is uh, David Gardner from uh, Boys Direct. Our focus today is uh, QR codes and the way it's changing the way we do business. Uh, we've got a real simple agenda, but it's packed full of lots of examples. I want a real interactive meeting, so ask lots of questions. We'll answer all your questions throughout the day. We've got folks that are living and breathing QR codes in today's world every day. What's the growth potential? I know there's shockingly, there's still a lot of people that uh, really don't understand the full magnitude of QR code utilization in today's world, both B2B and B2C. So we'll look at the growth potential. It's simply amazing. And then we've got a truckload of various use cases because seeing is believing. And then, of course, we'll, we'll have lots of time for Q&A. Again, you know who I am. Most of you do. You work with me daily. And uh, I can't thank you enough for being awesome customers. We greatly appreciate it. And we love serving you. Joining me today is David Gardner. He's the uh, president and owner of Boys Direct. And, you know, he and I have worked together on a number of different strategies and some projects. And so, David, why don't you tell us a little bit about your organization? You guys have been growing leaps and bounds. And the reason I like partnering with you is you, because you're a, a thought leader. You're always looking for a way to help your customers. And I love some of the innovative approaches that you've been leveraging. So just go ahead and give us a little overview of who you are and your team and what you do. Boyd's is a uh, marketing service company. We're very much involved with only digital printing, although we outsource conventional. And we do a lot of social media stuff as well. And we have grown on average over the last two years, about 50% annually. And that's, have no likelihood that's going to slow down anytime soon, what we think. And a year ago, I got into a, another business, uh, which is real estate signage. And that's uh, actually a big chunk of that growth, but uh, we're growing across all spectrums. So basically, uh, we're looking forward to continually finding ways to satisfy customers' income or revenue requirements. And when we do that, obviously, we grow with them. And that's the whole point. Absolutely. Beautiful. It's all about growth. There's so many ways to help customers. And uh, that's really what we like to focus our customers on is is trying to help customers every day, sitting down with your customers and just asking them, hey, what are you trying to solve today? How can we help you? So let's start off and let's talk about the QR code world today. There's probably some factoids here that you're not aware of. And the reality is that the uh, world of QR codes is exploding everywhere. Yeah, you know, I thought this was an appropriate slide because believe it or not, there's some folks out there that are wondering if QR codes are still relevant today. And I think after we finish today's presentation, you're going to be shaking your head and asking yourself why the heck you're not leveraging them as a critical component for solving customer needs, providing more value to your customers, as well as competitive differentiation for your organization. So first of all, you know, what's the future of the QR code look like? Well, thanks to the pandemic, the QR code usage has been significant and has seen significant growth year over year. In fact, reports suggest that 1 billion smartphones will have access to QR codes by the end of 2022. Yes, that's 1 billion. That's a lot of eyeballs. That's a lot of opportunity. In addition, Juniper Research says that by uh, 2022, 5.3 billion QR codes will be used for coupon redemption. That's driving revenue into the organization, whether it's B2B or B2C. So clearly, it's on the upswing, it's growing year over year. Why are they so popular? Well, the most obvious reason is that they're contactless, touchless, and easy to use. All must have attributes in a post-pandemic world. And the reasons for QR code success, the main drivers are, are really obvious. Today's mobile phones all have QR code readers included, whether you're using Android or an iPhone. The QR code viewers actually work in today's world. The most popular that everyone's familiar with is menus. You go into a restaurant during COVID and many had menus with QR codes where you could take a look and, and even place an order. And of course, coupon utilization. These are the reasons that we're seeing the growth. But I would submit to you after you today, you're going to say, wow, some of these use cases are mind boggling. And I clearly need to start thinking differently about QR codes. Now. I found this one particularly interesting in How We Shop Report. They state that more than one third of consumers, one third of consumers prefer paying with QR codes. 
And they say they won't complete a purchase if that option isn't available to them. Now think about that. A third of consumers will not complete the purchase if that option is not available to them. The report found that these consumers who prefer shopping with QR codes are among the most loyal users of all. So if you have, as many of our customers do, if you've got some retail clients, regardless if they're small, medium, or large, you ought to check with them and see if they're aware of this data point, because if they're not, it's a huge area of opportunity for you to help them get more engagement uh, with their customers. Hey, David, have you seen in any of your conversations with your customers that this has been an opportunity area for discussion? So I haven't seen anybody wanting to pay with QR codes. We we use a lot of links, but they could just as easily be QR codes, I think. And I think in the in the store market, obviously paying quickly with a QR code is probably very another uh, option to pay quickly, right? Yeah. And I think, again, it's uh, A, making our customers aware of the data. B, them starting to have conversations with their customers. I think you'd be shocked once you have those conversations. Now, all this underscores that consumer expectations are shifting rapidly, and the QR code is one of the best options used by merchants to keep up with this phenomenon. This is another uh, amazing consumer acceptance data point. Consumers prefer digital payment methods. And as you can see, card on file was the number one choice. QR code was number two. Contactless debit credit was number three. Digital wallet, number four and POS credit number five. So again, arming you with this information is a huge area of opportunity for you to go forth and start to say, hey, you may not know this, but QR codes are exploding and it's an area of opportunity that I can help you leverage on so many different levels. And then we can give them five or six different use cases as a result of what you learned today. And uh, again, studies show that consumers love this option. Here's a digital pay example and uh, scan and pay, really simple, and it could be for any institution. Now, <clears throat> clearly in some areas of the world, it's becoming a massive economic recovery engine. For example, EY Canada says that the massive adoption of QR codes in Canada is one of the key tools in the economic recovery on the front line of Canadian business. I mean, I don't know about you, but as I was researching all the different data points, this one really impacted me because that is a huge statement. And I know I, because I live and breathe QR codes every day, I mean, I have tons of examples in my house every day that I'm receiving through my favorite tool, which is direct mail, great area of opportunity. But now you're seeing them other marketing vehicles as well, as we'll explore in today's session. All right, so what else and where are we seeing some of the QR code come back? You know, we're seeing growth across many industries, many that you would often not expect to be uh, front. So we just looked at contactless payments. No brainer there, lots of opportunity. We know that menu and ordering food over the last several years of COVID was uh, omnipresent everywhere. Now we're seeing a big increase with registration use cases. In fact, QR codes for events, trade shows, huge area of opportunity for introducing team members in the booth with their contact information as well as teeing up information you want to share with them special offers and events throughout the the uh, trade show event donations for not-for-profits and even the medical community is coming up with some ingenious use cases i'm going to share a couple with you today so without question they've made a comeback I would submit to you as one of our customers, to the extent that you harness this area of opportunity and start to produce and present it to your customers, you're gonna see an exponential growth engine for QR codes. And following today's session, if you wanna do a one-on-one -on -one with Joe and, and have a little strategy session on where you'd like to focus, I'd be more than happy to do that. All right. So I already told you that I'm a big proponent of direct mail and the QR code. I'm working with customers every day. We're doing some amazing things. David's some, already done some amazing things with it. So we're going to start our use case examples with direct mail and the QR code, my personal favorite, soon to be your personal favorite, I hope. So having said that, why is direct mail a great starting point? Well, first and foremost, direct mail and QR codes were made for each other. It's a perfect marriage. The results speak for themselves. 
Direct mail programs using QR codes typically see 3x to 5x lift beyond the direct mail piece alone. What the heck is Joe saying there? What I'm saying is, for many of the customers that I personally work very closely with, with their end customers, where we're executing a large direct mail program, and we're getting great response levels from the pearl, joemanismyoffer.com. We're getting great click-throughs to the landing page, uh, rather than send them to a website, personalized QR codes were designed to send them to a personalized landing page that speaks to them, what's important to them. When we have that QR code on that direct mail piece, we're seeing another three to four times lift beyond just the direct mail to the pearl. So it's a huge area of opportunity. And most importantly, there are a variety of options for tracking responses and conversions. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a partner meeting where one of my customers invited me to join them with the marketing team for one of their large customers. And invariably, when I ask the marketing executive, what's the big gap you've got right now from direct mail, he or she will say, Joe, I can't quantify the conversions to purchase from my direct mail piece. I have multiple, multiple solutions for that, whether we're driving them to a website, not my favorite approach, or we're driving them to the personalized landing page. We have tons of ways to answer that and address that critical need for your customers. All right, having said that, I'm gonna turn it over to David. I absolutely love this program. It's ingenious, it's exceptionally well done. And as a pet owner, the messaging on this piece resonates with me a hundred times over. David, tell me, how did you, find this opportunity? How did you come up with this great creative? And it clearly was a success. So believe it or not, this came in as a cold lead from the customer. I did not approach them. Uh, they're wow. an innovative company. They're obviously taking a, a situation where, where pets do not like to go to the vet. And once they get in the car in a cage, they know where they're going, right? It's, there's no question about it. And so an uh, innovative idea like bringing the vet to the home alleviates that conversation as well as like here in New England where it's cold in the winter or snowy. Uh, and for seniors, it's difficult to get out. They came up with this idea and they're recruiting vets that have additional hours to build to be uh, home visitation. And so an innovative concept needs innovative marketing, obviously. And so we came up with a design that they were pretty well along on by the time I got a hold of it. We added a QR code and the design was to try to be friendly as well. And one postcard had a, a short fold and it'd be the animals outside, you open up and they're now inside in front of the fireplace. And if you go flip to the next slide, Joe, you'll see where that fold is right above, let us come to you. And you'll notice that there's a QR code there and that directs them directly to their uh, phone app for creating a request to download the app and also request a free consultation. And as you can see in the mailing panel, we did some uh, personalized targeted writing, obviously the outgoing address, but also the vet interest that was responsible for that address area sent a note to welcome them to the conversation and obviously was barcoded. So this had a, a pretty good result. It was a first in, in two series they did and they'll continue to do more, I believe, in the future. But it was it was a pretty different way for them to go and, and it drove them to attract those new people who didn't want to do the vet the same old way, right? Absolutely. I absolutely love it. You know, I'll tell you, as a pet owner, I live in great weather, as you know, and my, my vet is only, you know, three quarters of a mile from my house, which is super convenient. But when I throw the dog in the car and we start heading down the street, we get two blocks away from the vet and bingo, Odyssey knows where we're going. Starts to whine and says, I don't want to go. Please, dad, don't take me. Starts whining. So imagine if it's, you know, 10 below, three foot snow outside, and you gotta first get the car warmed up, you gotta bundle the dog up or a cat, whatever you're bringing, and uh, then get them in the vehicle and go deal with all it. This is just simply ingenious. And again, the marketing speaks to that on so many levels. I remember reading through the piece, talking about stress, the comfort of your home. I mean, all heavy residents of good marketing messaging, right? And then this was a follow-up flyer that, again, is so well done. Yeah, and you, you've got to, all your marketing material has to be coordinated, right? So if you're going to put QR codes on postcards, it should be on signage inside your facility and or around the community. 
and certainly on any of your other flyers. And each of those can be unique. So the QR code you can track based on the actual product that it was on, or yeah. it could lead to a singular site if you just want to try to get uh, one product or service going, right? Absolutely. So again, beautiful campaign, beautiful program. And uh, it's just amazing, the quality. I just love this. Now for all of our, you know, as you know, we've got corporates, printers, agencies, customers, for all of our printers, I mean, what a wonderful, wonderful way to meet your customer need, you know, innovative direct mail with the QR code messaging spot on. Again, it could be a series of direct mail pieces supported by the flyer. Great, great job, David. Absolutely love this. Uh, Joe, you. David asked about whether these were personalized QR, uh, QR codes or static. In this case, yep. static, the goal is to go to uh, variable. Yes. All right. Awesome. Yeah, I saw one of the comments in there. Joe must have a small dog. Yeah, 37 pounds. Yeah. All right, moving on. All right, now let's let's go to some other use cases. So here we have Fashion Fox practices brand transparency by revealing its sustainability practices on an infographic and video video QR code. So let me just say two things. One, number one. The power of the QR code linked to video, the visit rates and the viewerships are off the charts. If you want the number one marketing channel for your customers to drive results, you use a personalized QR code connected to a short video about the product or service. The results are off the charts. 61% viewership. I think the number is something like 52% of the viewers watch the complete video. So huge, huge deliverables around that. This, you know, sustainability is really hot. Organic cotton is phenomenal. So again, for those types of consumers that are looking for the power of that type of communication, this is an e-ticket ride. We wanna make it easy for prospects to engage with the brand or the product, no matter the case. Here we have Munch and Samu, their app on their website, and you can see the different selections for ordering. Again, uber simple, absolutely spot on as far as connecting the dots to their clients and future clients. All right, now back to David. I love this piece, David, on so many levels. There's so much information you're providing as well as visiting another club use case was absolutely splendid. Tell us a little bit about how this came about. So I was a governor of Rotary in the Boston area back in 1718, and we produce a directory every year, and I indicated that we should probably try to make it easier for people to find the resource they needed. Websites that have hundreds of pages get to be very difficult to navigate. So the ones that were most important to us, we put it on with QR codes so it could be accessed from the phone and be available to them at any point in time and made it much more responsive or relevant to their time, what they were trying to do. And the QR code on the right side was for uh, club listings. So they could connect to a club either for a visit, to go see a speaker or to see what was happening in the community. And these codes got used to a very large extent because everybody carried one of these books around in their car and yet they wouldn't be able to in their car type in a long URL. And as you do, yeah. as you guys know, as you do more and more landing pages, your length of your URL gets longer and longer. And bit.ly's are nice, but they're hard to understand and record from a view, right? Yep, absolutely. And to just make it easy for the membership to get gain access to critical information. So everyone attending today's session, think about that. How many of your customers are you supporting that are involved in membership uh, services? This is another brilliant way to take existing materials they have and again, give them greater reach. Fantastic. Love this one. Grab consumers' attention, drive engagement. You know, here's child pizza, grabbing the attention of passerbys with social media QR code on their window display. It could have, there could have been multiple displays there that drive to different elements. But for all my customers that do signage, again, how often are you doing signage that could have another life with a uh, QR code used in many different avenues. I know, David, you're doing signage for a lot of different verticals and you're enabling QR codes. We're going to look at a couple examples. So I know that you're sold on the concept. What's that meant to your business from a revenue growth standpoint? 
so it's it's just starting to have an impact on the signer's side. QR codes were kind of a second thought for a long time. They came out a decade or so ago, and the U.S. did not quite adopt them the same way Asia did, for example. And they're the the the, the thing in Asia for almost every purpose you can think of. Yep. And one of the things that you know I look at is you know print media, whether it be signage or anything else, or this is a great opportunity for digital signage. This could be a video display board that each of us can sell and monitor and back up and, and update on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, whatever it is. And it allows you to obviously with a QR code, you can change what the landing page is at any point in time. So this could be a QR code that this week is about, you know, buy two for one. Next week, it's about get a free slice of pizza of any of our special pizzas, right? Those types of things are what's going to engage people to pop in or try something new. Yeah, totally. I see John, thanks for your comment. John said these codes in the pizza world work. I was able to get into the pizza groups. Fantastic. Great, John. Thanks for sharing that. All right. Here's a well-known brand that didn't take them long to figure it out. Burger King TV commercial drives engagement to their mobile app with QR codes. Again, I don't know about you if you're watching any sports, not even sports. I'm seeing them for uh, run-of-the-mill consumer products on TV ads with a QR code. Uh, not that everybody on this call is working with uh, TV ad folks. You're not. But what that does is with TV ads leveraging them, it means when you're using them on direct mail pieces, you're using them for different use cases with your customers. It's more readily accepted. And by, by the way, I, I didn't have an opportunity to add this to the deck, so I'm going to share it with you right now. One of my just medium-sized print customers wanted my help. He was working with a agency that was testing four different print ads for magazines and different use cases. And they wanted a way to do an ABCD test. And so we suggested a QR code. So by having a different QR code for each of the ads, we were able to give them the data on which was the top producing ad. And based on that top producing ad, that was the ad they were going to use for the next six months. So again, it, endless possibilities for how we can leverage this. All right, moving on. All right, back to David. I love this uh, recruitment campaign. So tell us a little bit about how this came about. So everybody's having trouble hiring people, right? And so normally you don't do a lot of direct mail to hire. Necessarily it's done via Indeed or Job Recruiter. More people are starting to turn to direct mail for this. And the real trick is hiring bonuses and then ease of entry in that conversation. So New Path is, did two postcards, two different versions, one for a single community, another one for another community. And these two happen to be both EDDM postcards. They went to entire carry routes that were surrounding the two locations they're hiring for. And then they also did a, a general mailing with addresses for some luxury apartment buildings where they thought people might be looking for some second income. Try to make that transition from renting to buying, for example. And so the QR code brings them right to a page and they, they actually put one step further. They put the URL there as well. So for people who might get this in, a, in an email, they can cut and paste it uh, or they can do that from their desktop. They have had pretty good response. This just went out a couple of weeks ago. They've got two more versions, follow-up versions coming up next week and two weeks after that. And they've already had about eight or 10 fully completed applications for people, which is probably what they're expecting at that point. And that was evidenced as of Tuesday. And I have not got an update as of today, but my guess that number may have doubled because it, I think Joe, I showed you the day, it went up about 25%. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was good jump. The other thing I love about direct mail, come as no surprise for anybody on the call, and David, that's why I think those numbers will continue to go up, is direct mail has a shelf life. You know, I may have a piece sitting in my desk, which I have several pieces, maybe 15, that I'm going to follow up with, but guess what? You know, I'm going 24 seven crazy hours. I just haven't gotten to it yet, but I'm going to get to it. Likewise on this piece, some more people are going to get to it as their schedules open up. Uh, so yeah, it has a shelf life and you'll get more lift over the next several weeks. Beautiful, beautiful use case recruiting. Definitely one of those high growth areas of opportunity. And guess what? Everybody on the call, most of the marketers aren't thinking about direct mail as a recruitment tool with this use case. And you could even have it with a personalized URL and a personalized QR code. You could have that app personalized to them as well. Some really cool use cases. Yep. 
All right. So I love this messaging. This could have been free. Yeah. How many cups of coffee get sold, you know, by different purveyors every day? Tons. So it's shocking. And the cost of coffee continues to go up. This could have been free. So super offer for free coffee. How do you get to it? Just use the QR code. Love, love, love this one. Great imagery, great looking. Save now 30%. Hey, that's a pretty significant savings. So Bad Boy Apparel gives his customer 30% off the new collection with a QR code coupon. Take that picture, come on in, spend some money and save some money. Absolutely fabulous. All right, let's talk about the political environment. Yeah, so this is actually my attorney and he was running for town moderator uh, once again. And he decided to put QR codes on his yard signs, on his banners around town, and obviously on his mailings as well. And it was pretty amazing. It's, it was a small town, small position, midterm election. So polling results were not really high as they would be like in a presidential election timeframe. But on both, when he did his yard signs, there was about a three to one ratio of hits on his website the day after the signs were delivered and started to go up. And the same thing happened with his postcards, almost a three to one bump in his counts. He went from like 80 hits a day to 250 to 320 hits a day. That's a pretty significant bump. And they also led to a donations page, which led to some additional donations on top of that. Absolutely fantastic. Now, let me pivot off David's excellent example. I've got one of my customers on the East Coast that is focusing on political leaders as a vertical market to help them market more effectively. And as part of their outreach, you know, all of you should be doing self-promotion every through our platform, but they focus entirely on a small subset of politicians that they felt they could add some significant value. And they use the personalized QR code to drive them to a personalized landing page uh, and start to experience, they used our Experience It campaign to experience opti-channel marketing. Now, for some of you that haven't done a deep dive on what opti-channel marketing means to your customers, the Experience It campaign does exactly that. In a matter of minutes, you get a text message, a ringless voice messaging, an email, and a telephone call. And again, the results of their self-promotion program for new opportunities was off the charts. Again, the QR code, personalized QR code, not generic, the personalized QR code played a critical piece. So again, Joe's coaching tip, if you're not running self-promotion programs, you're not leveraging the tools that you can offer your customers. Now, no secret that uh, fashion generates lots of money and there's always changes and new opportunities in fashion. And so here we have a new fashion line launch. And then this uh, use case, you're going to see a lot more. We've got some ornamental peppers and the QR code has all sorts of useful information. I read uh, where a number of brands are starting to put the QR code on the shelf products so that you can get nutritional information and recipe information. Again, if you're in packaging labeling, which we do have some customers in packaging labeling that do boxes, is what productized boxes, as well as cans, labels, et cetera, beer labels. What about, I know I've got a number of customers that do trendy beers. Let's go to those beer manufacturers. Let's talk to them about QR codes and innovative ways to leverage them on their beer bottles and their products. So again, product use information, a million different opportunities there uh, to work with your customers. Joe, one of the people on the call suggested doing uh, set up our usage instructions in a package. And that's actually brilliant because if you think about the size of the print that now ends up on those instructions are almost impossible to read. So now you'll be able to get that on your phone and enlarge any size you want. So totally. Great cases. Yeah, absolutely love it. Yep. Use cases are endless. All right. Here we have another recruitment uh, marketing. And what I love about this is uh, looks like we've got some government people getting out of their box, getting innovative for recruitment. This is a state agency and they're care homes for mostly addicted, but all, all kinds of people who are, who are struggling with surviving in today's world. And first thing we did was, was some very nice, high quality yard signs. They were not, they were not core plastic, they were larger, thicker paylight. And that went really, really well. And from that, they said, you know, maybe we need a way to distribute this information. 
So on the bottom left, you'll see actually a business card. And if you think about it, a business card is about the smallest printed piece that has any value in today's world. And you could argue that they don't have a lot of value because you can't put a lot on it. But with the QR code, you open up those possibilities. And so they're leaving these with, you know, their workers to distribute to people as they meet them around town. And they're putting them on Dunkin' Donuts counters or coffee shop counters. And they're getting a, a pretty good response. And unfortunately, they did not set the site up to track it. it. It was already done before I was involved, but I think they'll make sure they can track them in the future. Yeah, I can see so many uh, ways to simplify applications because the problem with most governmental sites is when you're looking for something, it only takes 50 clicks to find what you're looking for. With this use case, we could send them directly to the app, tell them what the steps are, one, two, three, four, this is what the follow-up will be. You could simplify the entire process, which would get them an increase in applications as well. Love it. Okay. This one, again, wonderful use case, you know, add news, sign in, scan the QR code to hear prospectus from their Emerging Leaders Council on how they see the industry shaping up. So again, pretty much material to the video insights, absolutely seamless, absolutely beautiful. Now, for those of you on the call, and I've seen some of the folks that are here today, we've got some folks that work in the donor, not-for-profit arena. Yep. Scan and donate now. What a wonderful use case. You can redirect right to the donor page. Oh yeah, put a personalized QR code on there. We can go right to their personalized landing page, talk about what their donor history has been. Most of the donor programs I'm helping with customers with, we, we do three options. Option one uh, is to double up, double what they're currently giving today. Option two is triple up. And then at the bottom, we have what their current level is. We make it as easy as one, two, three to select a level that they want to participate with. I was going to get to this later, but as all of you should know, because I've sent a ton of information to you on this, you know, we've got a QR code app built into the MindFire platform that's second to none, whether you're doing a generic QR code that you can customize the look and feel. You can put a logo in the center of it where it says scan me. You can have your partner's logo in there. Or if you're doing a personalized QR code with that list of pen that has the pearls, you create a unique personalized QR code. That's all possible in the MindFire application. Easy as one, two, three. And we've got tons of videos and information there that you received from me. If you go back, I think about two, three months, you'll see that email. Or you can go right to the help section of the application. And we're only charging for list of pen for personalized QR codes. We're only charging $7.50 per thousand. And again, that's a fully customized QR code. Hey, Joe, what happens? I know you have technology to help with this. But what happens if somebody clicks on a link, yet doesn't fulfill to actually be recorded as an entry for a donation or for any other application, but they visit it and you have access to the URL? So if you're thinking from a tracking standpoint, typically what I recommend for customers is for those that got connected and made the donation, what I recommend is uh, all of my customers give their customer report. So a lot of the not-for-profits I'm working with customers, what we do is we say, hey, here's the people that connect, click to make a donation. Go ahead and match it to the people that made a donation. What you will find in a rare occurrence is <clears throat> when Joe clicked to make a donation, I got an urgent telephone call and I never finished the transaction. So now they can go back and match that back and then they can reach out to Joe and say, hey Joe, we see you intended to make a donation but you abandoned the site before completing that. Can we help you? And that is a very effective way to close the loop on anybody that wanted to make a donation but never completed it. Yeah, don't forget that the data that you get from this can go back into your CRM be part of your general marketing plan ongoing, right? Yep. All right. And back to outdoor signage. Here we have a bus stop with a Victoria's Secret picture with the QR code. Again, launch the latest lingerie collection. And so while you're sitting idly, you know, you might want to get something for your wife or there's a young lady sitting there that wants to explore their uh, collection. So again, signage, powerful. Love this one. Uh, anybody that's been a taxi lately, whether it's Las Vegas or any of the big cities, they all have the information video loop playing. 
and L'Oreal uses QR codes inside taxis. They link the QR code to the shop's website, allowing passengers to shop while in traffic. If you're going cross town in New York, that can be a 30 or 45 minute cab ride. And so uh, again, great opportunity to get incremental business from the taxis. Love it. And again, for a retail opportunity, here we have Zara. They use QR code in display windows to let window shoppers avail sale items. Again, the, the possibilities are endless for retail. And again, I've got tons of customers that do signage like this. Heck, I've got some customers that do entire sides of buildings signage. Wow, what a great billboard for creativity to have a variety of messaging that folks with their mobile phones going by can plug into. Lacoste rolled out a QR code out on TV. It lets viewers shop from the comfort of their home. You notice that, you know, the player currently that's a Lacoste promoter, you can order his shirt right there on the screen in real time. So again, all sorts of possibilities. Even Ralph Lauren, to combat counterfeit products, they've got QR codes inside so that you know you're getting a real Ralph Lauren polo product. And, you know, if you've been in some areas, you know, this can be a, a real issue. You doing anything in any of these retail areas at all, David? Not yet. It's, I'm learning a lot of new opportunities myself. <laughs> all right. Out in California, there's a big chain. Really, really well. They do amazing. They have an amazing uh, array of meats, food, everything. Be Rayleigh's, Bel Air, Knob Hill. If I've got any uh, West Coast customers that are familiar with these guys, go ahead and throw a yes in the chat. And uh, yeah. Every time you use your membership code, when you check out, you get so many points and, you know, you can go ahead and, Suzanne, thank you, scan the QR code and uh, download the app, get additional savings in the palm of your hand. And again, you get your monthly coupon for how much you spent at the store. And in this day and age with inflation, oh my God, I used to get a $50 coupon every month for uh, savings with inflation. I haven't gotten my first one with the last, last 30 days. I'm expecting it to double because that's what uh, food costs are at. Hey, Joe, on this one, you notice there's a code, a numerical code right above your name. I'll bet that is to track you. That's a personalized URL code. Yeah. Uh, QR code. And, and they're going to know whether you took part in this offer and any other ones historically. And yep. they'll know what you respond to. You respond to 10% off, 20% off, or 30% off. And they'll target those uh, discounts based on where you act. Yeah, spot on. Now, this one, I know I've got some customers here that that absolutely work in higher ed. And uh, this is a letter from the president at Madison College. And for all the juniors and seniors that they're, they're trying to invite to their school, you know, they can get details. And the QR code has been a really super, super addition to our marketing activities for this institution. This is one of the data points that I've early on saw a big uptick from the Pearl to the QR code responses. So we were getting phenomenal Pearl click-throughs from the direct mail, which showed us our direct mail investment was paying off. The QR code was taking up another 4X. Again, Rite Aid, you know, another chain. And uh, if you're in their membership program, again, the QR code lets you get advantage of their savings and additional points. All right. Real estate, I'll bet you 50% of the attendees today are working with realtors. In fact, I've got some super smart real estate folks I'm working with that we've been leveraging QR codes for, and they're bringing new programs to their realtors to separate themselves because it's a competitive market. This is a home in our area that just listed. You can see ready to know your home value, scan the QR code for a free estimate. Everybody wants to know what their current value is. They may be considering downsizing or upsizing, and this is a super easy way to create some value. So I take my hat off to Katie. The QR code works just great. And you can get the current value of your home and see if now's the time that you might be making a move. You do well, anything? Go ahead, Dave. I was gonna say, or it could lead you to houses for sale in your area in case you're looking to buy another house, right? It could do yeah. anything you can dream of. Absolutely. And we've got, we live, we live in a very unique community and there's just not enough homes available for sale. I think we've got three on the market right now. So people are trying to get in this area. And again, competitive advantage to reach out. Love this one. This is from AT&T. 
Go paperless campaign, show a little love for our planet, choose paperless billing this Earth Day. So they tied paperless billing to an Earth Day campaign. Love it. QR code, visit, you know, turn on paperless billing and auto pay in your account settings. Outdoor. How many people are familiar with outdoor? Lock in your offer today and get a stress-free sale. So uh, again, oh. great personalized information based on the property, estimated value. And again, get a check, check your home value, QR code, boom. And even Kaiser, I recently had hip surgery and about three and a half weeks ago. And uh, so my physical therapy team was changing my routine, sent me a QR code to check out my current exercise plan. Again, when healthcare starts leveraging QR codes, now I'll tell you what, it opens up all sorts of possibilities. Bed Bath & Beyond, what I loved about this was it was a flyer. If you look at me on the screen, it was a flyer and it had different special offers inside the pages that they thought you may be interested in. I think that was probably tracked back to member purchase activity. This is from my 96-year-old mom, United Healthcare survey use case. She recently had some survey, I should say some uh, web call. And they wanted to know how she rated it. All right. Now, let's segue to an area that I saw in the chat, protect against QR code scams. So I didn't want to take away from the incredible use cases we had today to share with you and get into this area. But as with anything in life today, if you'd like more information on QR code fraud, visit our website. I put a document up there that talks about some of the potential areas. The truth is, it's a relatively remote issue. I deal with a lot of different QR codes for all size customers. But the caveat is, like all areas of life today, you should be aware of it and take appropriate actions as needed. As a service provider, it isn't an area that will prevent you from achieving success. Just be prepared to talk about it. And so I think that's enough on that subject. All right. So at this point, I'm going to give you my takeaway on this incredible area of opportunity. I'm in these meetings every day with customers and their customers. I can just tell you I'm focused on one thing. How do we help your customers grow? How do we help you grow by providing more value to your customers? This is an e-ticket ride. You make the time to get comfortable with it. You put your presentation together. You start talking to your customers about what their number one objectives are and you help them and you connect the dots. I didn't even put a use case in here for new customer onboarding, which is another amazing use case for QR codes. And that may be a, a follow-up discussion. So my takeaways are simple. QR codes deliver new innovative customer solutions. I've shown you a bunch of them today. So is David. They enable you to drive competitive differentiation so that you're just not another service provider. In 2022, the number one highest response rate on direct mail is implementing a QR code with a video link of high value video content, especially as it applies to the product, service, or offering. You can provide tracking and measurement from QR code campaigns that your customers are searching for on multiple levels. And the MindFire solution has completely automated QR code creation with or without a list, as well as customized views. So having said that, David, what's your takeaway from today's session? And, and you've been living it as well. Yeah. So, I mean, I learned about four or five different use cases that I haven't yet considered yet. And I think that the, the there's no limit. And I think that if you utilize personal URLs and you can attract that data and make it part of your marketing campaigns and a referral system and all the other things that go along with that, the results could be just astounding. No question. All right. So let's, let's go to some questions. So team, do you have any burning questions? Oh, let me just start with one here. Uh, any thoughts or experience with NFC, near field communication tags? Yeah, we do have some experience with that. And, you know, I would say that there's a, a there's a clear opportunity for those. But again, I do believe that you got to ask the question of the customer if they're using those, then we go down that path. But if um, they're not, then the QR code, I think is going to be able to provide you a good starting point. James Holder, he said, thank you, James. 
Floor graphics are another great spot for QR codes. Absolutely, especially in retail. So any of you out there doing uh, floor graphics, absolutely. How many people walk around looking down at their phones? I just saw a path of QR codes particularly placed on the floor around a mall. Yeah, absolutely love it. Also event marketing. You know, again, you could have floor graphics, get event marketing into your booth, be displaying QR codes with great information there. I mean, think about that. You could have a QR code that's today's program and every day you update that landing page. So you only have one page you go to. You don't need to confuse people with multiple day programs. It could be if it's a personalized track and you've got a personalized URL or when they input their ID number from their badge, they get their, their schedule, not just the general schedule. Yeah. And also for more information. So if anybody wants to get on a mailing list for information about a particular product you have at a trade show. That's Absolutely. a great way to make that quick. Yep. And somebody yep. said that they were, they actually found that the, they could scan the QR codes and they're actually working off the screen. And so think about that. You can put it in digital marketing, but they're going to go back to their handheld device to access the QR code. But that means it could be in your email signature. It could be on your website. It could be in any digital signage. And if you think about it, if you see a QR code in an email signature that talks about what's new, you might get people to flip through that every once in a while. So, and there's no cost to it, even better. Absolutely. Here's a question from Rachel. Have you seen clients use a QR code scan to trigger another direct mailer? Can you expand on that a little bit, Rachel? Because I want to make sure I understand that. I mean, it's not uncommon to have QR code, if you're using a personalized QR code to gather some additional marketing intelligence, and then on the thank you page, provide high value content specific to their interest or need or what the marketing program is focused on. And then based on how they answer specific questions, it can lead to a telephone call to set a meeting, but it could just as easily lead to a follow on direct mail piece with additional information. Can you expand on that? Yes, we do use personalized links to analyze demographics behaviors, uh, Rachel, yes. If Al has a question, have him fire it off. I'd love to help him with that. Joe, there's one question on that's a little self-promoting, but it was asked whether I was a union shop. And yes, yeah. we are. Yep. Thank you for that. I saw it. Mike asked a question. Does a Pearl QR for video add any engagement benefits for the video link or just a tracking? Well, we, yeah, we can actually get inside of what the viewership with some of our added tools as an option. We can get inside what the viewership of the video looked like, the makeup, the time, et cetera. So we can get very granular on that if that's a requirement. Most just wanna know that they watched the video and they took the call to action that led to the follow-on marketing engagement requirement. We have another question, Joe. How would you use it in the travel industry? Oh gosh, there's a million different ways. Obviously I do a personalized QR code based on my past travel excursions. I would be teeing up a QR code that drove them to a personalized landing page, and we had a couple different trips we think you'd be interested in. We'd also use it for new customer acquisition. What areas are you exploring or thinking about exploring and have collect that personalized information. And then on the thank you page, have some of our top opportunities for travel. And then based on how they reply, we could do a follow on to them. All right, my friends, customers, David, again, thank you for joining us and, and uh, helping with the presentation. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. To the MindFire team behind the scenes, thank you for all your help. To you, our customers, again, thank you so much for being our customers, for uh, supporting our activities. I hope you learned a ton today. And more importantly, I hope you apply it. And if you need my help, you know I'm always there to help. Strategy meeting, whatever you need. And if there's any prospects on the call today and you're not using our solution, uh, you really should be. It will help you create competitive differentiation, add more value, drive more revenue into your company, and we're a heck of a partner to work with. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Thank you again for making time today, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye now.